It's Christmas! So, it's Christmas Eve, or probably Christmas Day by the time I get round to uploading this. And you're probably overrun by annoying Slade songs and stupid Christmas hats. So I'll just skip all the Christmas stuff and show you my guitar build. <laughs> Here's how to do a carved top on a Les Paul style guitar. And back to the voiceover me. The first thing I did is measure to where the bridge goes and mark the tailpiece as well. Then roughly with a pen I marked out the areas I wanted to route and how deep I should route them. Here is my homemade router table where the router slides over the top with any piece of wood and routes it perfectly parallel and flat. It has clamps at the front made from two pieces of threaded bar which means you don't have to screw the wood down every time. I then routed out the body to the correct depth and here's what it looks like. Here is the amount I routed off out of each section and what it looks like from the side. This gives you a rough idea of what your car will look like. Now this back cover isn't level with the body so I use this opportunity to route it off flush. After a quick sound, the back of the guitar is finished. Now to take down some of the steps that I routed, the only tools I had were a blunt hand plane and a load of blunt chisels. I had to use these to try and take down some of the steps to make it easier and quicker to sand. This would be a lot easier if you had a proper file or rasp. Here's one of my favourite tools, it's an angle grinder with a sanding disc on it. This tool cuts extremely quickly, but once you get a feel for it, it can actually be extremely accurate. However, for some reason, the sanding this just kept seeming to break. One minute you'd be sanding, and then one second later the disc would have flown across the garden. So I had to change disc and carry on sanding. Here's what the guitar body looks like after the rough sanding with an angle grinder. Although it may appear to be rather rough and uncontrollable, once you get a feel for using this tool you can do some really detailed work. Yet sadly, all of my sanding disc mysteriously self-destructed, so I had to try other methods of sanding. Like using my flap wheel in a hand drill. Doesn't appear to be doing anything. and nor does this random orbital sander. So in the end I gave up and reverted the hand sanding like usual. Of course the obvious downside to this is it takes absolutely ages. So here's a time lapse to make it much more amusing. I strongly suggest buying a belt sander to do this job. However, after sanding for absolutely ages, I think the body is finally done. I glued off a body blank from some old tabletops, roughly cut out the shape, routed it to more detail, routed out all of the pockets and now I've carved the top. All that's left to do is the final sanding and the finishing process. You'll probably know that finishing takes an extremely long amount of time. So my next update will be in a few weeks with a complete video of how to do it. <laughs> Mirrors are great. God, I hate that stuff. Oh, impressive. <laughs>